Right here lies Canada's very first national marine park, Fathom 5. The closest city to this park is Tobermory, Ontario. Fathom 5 National Marine Park is situated on the northern tip of the Bruce Peninsula, accessible from the south along the Highway 6, four hours from Toronto, or from the north via Ontario Northland Ferry, which operates during the spring, summer, and fall. Fathom 5 was, situ was established in 1987 and has an area of 112 square kilometers. Fathom 5 Marine Park is extremely diverse in its wildlife and is home to many animals including black bears, deer, beavers, fox, otters, and red squirrels. Some must-see creatures are the red squirrel, the American red start, the black-throated green warbler, the common merganser. It is protecting over 300 types of birds including the cormorant. Fathom 5 also houses the eastern Mississauga rattlesnake and the spotted turtle, which are both endangered species, and is home to 22 historic shipwrecks and three lighthouses, which is why the park was established. Did you know that it is a continuation of the Grand Ridge of the Niagara Escarpment, meaning it has cliffs and steep slopes? The Bruce Peninsula had many shipwrecks. The shipwrecks show a broad historical view of the trading in the Great Lakes during the 19th and early 20th centuries. Navigation through the channel, the, cha the, the narrow channels, the changing weather, and the island shoals were hazardous, resulting in most of the 22 shipwrecks within the boundaries, all varying at depths and types, and some are even visible from shore. Due to the aftermath of the 1812 war, many ships were also sank in the area. So citizens decided to construct lighthouses to reduce the amount of crashing and sinking. The first one was on Cove Island in 1858, the second on Big Tub Island in 1885, and the last on Flower Pot Island in 1897. The park consists of 20 islands and is known for its beautiful landscape and different ecosystems throughout. Fathom 5 is home to many types of vegetation including the Alaskan rain orchid, calypso orchid, dwarf lake iris, Indian plantain, northern holly fern, which are picky plants that often grow along with specific fungi, making these orchids almost impossible to transplant. There are also spruce, fir, birch, poplar, maple, and beech trees. There are many activities to do at Fathom 5, like scuba diving, snorkeling, kayaking, swimming, hiking, bird washing, and glass bottom boat touring to Flower Pot Island. The park is around 18 degrees during the summertime and about negative 4 degrees in the winter, and has an annual precipitation of 900 millimeters per year. During these activities, you may see northern pike, lake trout, lake cisco, lake whitefish, round whitefish, bloater, walleye, lake surgeon, yellow perch, smallmouth bass, pumpkin seed, and rock bass. If you wish to visit Fathom 5 Park, you may stay at the Fowerpot Island campsite, the Grandview Hotel, Bruce Anchor Motel and Cottage Rentals, Tobermory Princess Hotel, or Blue Bay Motel. They're all in Tobermory, Ontario and less than 5 kilometers from Fathom 5. Did you know the bedrock underlying the park is limestone formed by warm inland seas that once covered the area 400 million years ago? And the changing water levels have carved tall stone pillars called flower pots from the Dolomite Cliffs. This is how Flower Pot Island got its name. Even more exciting and confusing is the submerged waterfall. 5,000 to 10,000 years ago, what lies underwater now between Manitoulin Island and the Bruce Peninsula was dry land cut by raging rivers and gigantic waterfalls. As glaciers continued to melt the, and the Great Lakes were formed, waterfalls were lost under the waves. The spillway south of Middle Island was probably larger in volume than Niagara Falls. Now located to 30 to 35 meters beneath the surface, it falls 40 meters over the 800 meter length of rapids that have eroded 20 meters of the escarpment bedrock. So, so come visit Fathom 5. 5. We'll be waiting, waiting for you. you.